I, I don't know where y'all getting your talking points from, but um, I've tried to cover this story about three times this morning. <laughs> but I have other shit going on. Um, I have other phone calls I've had to field. Um, my cat is getting a medical shave right now because he has so much, has so many knots in his back, you guys. Um, David's in Canada. Mike, I don't know what part of, like, you might be Canadian too. I'm not even sure. But y'all um, pushing this shit out like you fucking know what's going on and you don't know what's going on. And this is hilarious to me to see you guys trying to cover this story when you are not in California. You don't know what's happening. This is, um, this is wild to see you guys cover this story. Well, we now know why Senator Dianne Feinstein of California is being forced to remain in her seat. Oh. Despite being 89 with dementia and having... You, are you forgetting that uh, when she said that she wasn't going to run again, later that day she said, what are you talking about? I never said that. <laughs> She's being forced? Are you kidding me? <laughs> She's not being forced to sit in that seat. She wants to fucking sit in that seat, David. Give me a break. <laughs> Just recovered from shingles. And no, it's not because Feinstein wants to represent her people in California. She really cares about the job. No, this has to do with Nancy Pelosi. Oh, okay, okay. Nancy Pelosi's apparent fear, and this is not some fringe paper saying this. It's not some fringe outlet. This is Politico. Okay. As standard right. reporting from Washington as you can possibly get, Politico. They are reporting that Nancy Pelosi wants Feinstein to remain in her seat because Pelosi is afraid that a black progressive woman may replace her if Feinstein retires before 2024. You, you do realize this is so bullshit. Like, like, how could you, how could you, okay, I get it. You're not in California. You, do, you don't know what's happening, right? Um, but Gavin Newsom is related to Nancy Pelosi, and he's the one who was suggesting that if there was an appointment, it would be Barbara Lee, right? There's also been rumors in California for some time. Um, I think early Earl Ofari Hutchison from KPFK was the one who was saying that Barbara Lee um, was one of the people being prepped up as Speaker of the House um, to replace Pelosi. So there, there are people in the queue, right? And yet Politico comes out, out with some bullshit article and you're like, oh yes, I must believe this right now. Um, the, the talk in California is that Barbara Lee has been long projected to be the appointment if Feinstein steps down and, um, that would be Gavin Newsom's decision, right? And he is related to Nancy Pelosi. So this story is already bullshit to me. Let's go. If you think I'm lying to you, <laughs> just wait for these details because this is absolutely What are these insane. details, David? What are these details? So this all starts, really, back in 2020 mm -hmm. when the first reports came out about Feinstein's health. As I covered back then, Diane Feinstein staffers blow the whistle on her health. This is based on reporting from The New Yorker Jane Mayer here in her headline, Diane Feinstein's missteps raise a powerful question, age question, among Senate Democrats. Okay. Going on to discuss conversations that, that uh, Feinstein had or uh, has had with her staff, okay. with other senators, and how Feinstein just completely forgets conversations, forgets votes, forgets people. Yes, but she knows how to say I and nay. And that's all they need her to do until May of next year when we can have a fair election amongst the three candidates that are running for her seat. Okay, but you tell me more about how Pelosi is supposedly a racist. Let's go. Clearly not well to a larger degree. I mean, I, you could argue a lot of senators not well, 
but Feinstein not well to a larger degree than I'm others there. Guys. To the point that it is very clear that she has dementia. But being forced to remain in her seat for political gain. So there have been many more reports since 2020 uh, of specific examples of her behavior. This from Business Insider. Diane Feinstein was, once mistook Republican Senator Tim Scott for Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. Feinstein congratulate you see where they're going with this they're trying to like they're i i don't understand why you're doing it david and why mike did it too mike figueroa um from the humanist report you both are going in this direction of look at these racist democrats they're so racist they can't tell the difference between two different black people right um these are older people who um can't figure it out why don't you talk a little bit more about how ted cruz put a, a picture of alvin bragg up on his um re-election announcement um and called alvin bragg his opponent for senate I, I mean clearly he can't differentiate between black people these rich assholes uh at the top that are fucking old and shit they can't figure it out they can't tell the difference between people. This is so wild to me that you're you're coming after. I mean, like, this is such a common bullshit thing that we have to deal with. And you're like, well, clearly she must be senile. Okay, so is Ted Cruz senile too? Is he? Because he, if he is, then I think you should demand that he step down from Senate, right? Republican Senator tim scott on his victory mm -hmm. for joining the senate right she thought she was speaking to raphael warnock okay and what it's not like thinking? she realized it and you know and and when my grandmother was starting to experience dementia she thought i was my mom she thought my mom was her sister she thought my son was her her um, son. Um, she was very confused about who people were because she was also losing her eyesight. That's something that happens with old age as well. But you know what? My uncle helped her vote. She still cast a vote that year. She wasn't dead, all you Republican motherfuckers. And she voted Republican. He cast her ballot Republican because she he knew that was her intention that was her wishes despite the fact that he completely disagreed and we all did but um, he cast a Republican ballot for her he helped her he assisted uh, corrected her mistake no she had a full conversation with Tim Scott thinking he was Warnock. And Tim Scott, I guess to his credit, didn't want to put her in an uncomfortable position, just was like, oh, thank you, and then walked away. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure her staff, actually, I believe her, the reporting writes how her staff, you know, were horrified because they right. realized what was going on. And um, right. getting her out of conversations appears to be the majority of what her staff is doing right now, apart from also keeping her in her seat against her will. So there's another example here, a recent example, a brief concerning conversation with Diane Feinstein. This is from uh, Slate. This conversation is amazing. The reporter asked how Feinstein was feeling. Quote, oh, I'm feeling fine. I have a problem with the leg. A fellow reporter staking out the elevator, uh, elevator asked what was wrong with the leg. Well, nothing that's anyone concerned but mine, she said. When the fellow reporter asked her what the response from her colleagues had been like since her return... The conversation took an odd turn. No, I haven't been gone, she said. Feinstein was gone for months. She forgot. You should follow the, I haven't been gone. I've been working. When asked whether she meant she'd been working from home, she turned feisty. No, I've been here. I've been voting, she said. Please, you either know or you don't know. After deflecting one final question about those like Rokana who called on her to resign, she was wheeled away. 
Wow. Again, this is the majority of what her staff is does. Try to get her out of conversation. Please tell me that y'all aren't doing the bidding of Ro Khanna. Because that guy has been absolutely horrible for progressive politics. He's been terrible. You, I mean, seriously. <sighs> I, I'm not even, I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump into that conversation. I've already talked about it a lot, but seriously, are you guys like on the payroll for Ro Khanna's bullshit? Because that guy has been so bad for progressive politics and, um, this isn't the battle that you want to have right now. This is, um, a, a situation we need to wait out um, because if you take her out right now, then Gavin Newsom has to make an appointment and it's probably not going to be any of the three people who are actually running right now who are leaving their districts. So uh, c currently we have Barbara Lee in Berkeley. We've got Adam Schiff in LA, Hollywood, Burbank. Glendale, um, Atwater Village, Pasadena, um, that whole area. And we have Katie Porter here along the coast, Seal Beach down to Laguna and Niguel. Uh, we have to replace all three of them. We have all of our own complications in that process. But uh, one of them we're hoping is going to be employed in this U.S. State Senate position. And if Gavin Newsom has to make an appointment, he will likely not choose any of them because it will cause chaos. It will create political divides for him. It's going to um, present all kinds of complications for him. So if you think this is going to be a fucking easy process, by saying, okay, Feinstein, you can't say I or nay anymore. Because that's about what she's reduced to at this point. Is just getting instructions right before she goes to vote. Um, she is literally just a vote at this point. Like, we cannot count on her to be the person who forwards... Who writes or forwards legislation for us. Which is probably a good thing. So why are you pissed about that? We don't want her to be the one writing the legislation. Just fucking get her in the room and say I or nay. Period. That's all we need out of her. So why are you guys trying... Like, What is your end game here? Because I can tell you straight up. If you're doing Ro Khanna's bidding... That motherfucker doesn't know what he's doing. And um, I can tell you it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well if you keep pushing this bullshit. And um, y'all don't, you don't know what the fuck is happening in California. You don't. You don't know what the fuck is happening in California. Because they know that she should not be there. Oh my God, David. I don't know how anybody can possibly argue that Feinstein is there because she wants to be there. I or nay. When she doesn't even remember being gone for months. Now I we get to nay. this Pelosi story. Feinstein's primary caregiver is Nancy Pelosi's daughter. So? Like. <laughs> they all know each other, dude. How is this allowed? What? This is un. This story is un. Believable. Why would this be a pro? Th you know what, dude? This is like you coming after Hunter Biden's laptop. Who fucking gives a shit? They all live in the same neighborhood, basically. So what if uh, people from different families have different kinds of jobs? What is the problem here exactly? You guys are such conspiracy theorists at, at, at your at, at your core. And uh, that's why it's hard for America to actually tap into what you're saying. Because you, you pull up this bullshit and who the hell cares if they happen to know each other 
and different family members have different jobs and they do different things for each other because they trust each other because they're like fucking networking together. God damn, dude. A quiet caretaking oh arrangement God. has raised questions about whether Nancy Pelosi has the ailing senator's personal interests at heart. Really? Raising questions? It's quite clear Pelosi don't give an F. Oh my She's God, doing this David. to keep Feinstein there, as you're going to read in this piece, simply for her own political purposes. Wow, that's a stretch, dude. That, that's... The intrigue surrounds the future of Feinstein's seat. Pelosi has endorsed Representative <laughs> Adam Schiff, her longtime protege and former hand-picked House Intelligence Committee chair to succeed Feinstein after her sixth and final term ends next year. Schiff is a household name in California and already has a $15 million campaign cash advantage over his nearest competitor. But if Feinstein were to bow to pressure and retire early, Schiff's advantage could disappear. Governor Gavin Newsom has pledged to appoint a black woman to serve out her term, and one of Schiff's declared opponents, Representative Barbara Lee, would fit the bill. If Dianne Feinstein resigns right now, there is an enormous probability that Barbara Lee gets appointed. Thus, it makes it harder for Schiff. One Pelosi family confidant told Playbook, adding that the relationship between Pelosi, her daughter, and the senator is being kept under wraps and very, very closely held. It you dumbasses. Like, you literally don't know what the fuck is happening. There was a labor conference, at, like, two weeks ago, in which all three of those candidates... Um, spoke to labor leaders and the the most proficient candidate was Katie Porter I got direct feedback from a labor leader on this and I'm telling you straight up you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about Barbara and Adam did not do well at the convention and it is more than likely that Katie's going to pick up most of the labor endorsements I can't even with you guys. You you literally are not on the fucking ground. And you're like, oh, I found this article of Politico. <laughs> so, therefore, therefore, I know what's happening. If there is nothing to hide here, why would they be hiding this? Oh, my God. It is very, very clear what is going on. They are keeping them. Feinstein in her seat. To simply help Adam Schiff. Adam Schiff. Okay. You, the other half of this is just like, as a person, like Pelosi is supposed to be one of Feinstein's friends. Mm hmm. Okay. I, simply as a friend, how could you do this to your friend? Force them to remain in this seat for your own political purposes. <laughs> David um, Feinstein herself was like I didn't resign <laughs> I didn't say I was going to resign <laughs> there, th you're, you're saying that she's being abused somehow she's saying that she wants to keep going as long as she can she has, she has said this pretty clearly and yeah she's a little out of it so now they're trying to limit like what she does like you're gonna be i or nay that's it you're not gonna be on any any committees you're not um well you know we'll wheel you in in your wheelchair <laughs> but that's all you're gonna do until this is done and you will retire at the end of it so um they have been evaluating the situation David they are like we're going to reduce your responsibilities like we can't have you on the oversight committee anymore we can't like we can't have you making decisions about like national security and stuff like this we are going to just get you through your term until it's over and by the way, with elder people, I mean, David's a lot younger than me, right? With elder people, oftentimes when they do retire, they die pretty quickly because they feel useless. They no longer have something to do. So I don't think it's a great thing 
for y'all to be out there pushing this poor old lady to her death. Because that's basically what you're doing. And all we need her to do is say, I or nay. That's it. That's it. It's not as hard as you think. And um, I don't know what you think is going to come out of this. Based on the fact that it looks like Ro Khanna is directing you guys. And that guy is a fucking chump. He's been trying to control California politics for a long ass time. He always is endorsing a slate of candidates for the, the Progressive Caucus. And um, this slate is usually a bunch of chumps who just fucking report up to Karen Bernal. That's what you want? That's what you think progressive politics is? Reporting to fucking Karen Bernal? All right. See how this goes, David. When you know they are not well. When you know they should be home with their family. Mm-hmm. You're, you're forcing them in their last years to do something that will that is purely beneficial to you as a politician. I, I just don't. I'm not. I'm not made out for this world. <laughs> like if this is. There, I would not succeed in politics if this is what it takes to get ahead. Um, I, I, I could not cross lines like this. This is unbelievable. Okay. Quote: It's very tricky and political because they want her to stay in the Senate. He said the person who spoke on good condition of anonymity. Quote, the political thinking is that if Dianne Feinstein stays as long as possible, it helps Schiff as well, clearly. Now, Pelosi's uh, spokesperson here, Bennett, rejected suggestions that Pelosi was seeking to influence Feinstein's decision about her future. Quote, anyone who knows Senator Feinstein knows that her service in the Senate is entirely her own decision. And Speaker Pelosi would never suggest otherwise. Mm -hmm. Then why does Pelosi have her daughter? following Feinstein around. I mean, Why is Feinstein forgetting things like being gone for months? Confusing people. Not to mention this. This I covered this because it was so just stunning. Feinstein announced her retirement back in, in February that she would step down in, in 2024. I gotta be real. This, this is probably one of the worst segments I've ever watched from you, David. It's so filled with um, assumptions and uh, just ridiculousness. They all fucking live up in the Bay Area. Give me a goddamn break, dude. If you happen to have a friend who has a daughter who is a caregiver and you need a fucking caregiver... Really? That's got to be your conspiracy theory right now? Um, I don't find this unusual whatsoever because um, very similarly, my family has networked in the L.A. area in a same way. Oh, hey, can you recommend a caregiver? Are you for fucking real? This has got to be like one of the worst segments I've ever seen out of you. After the end of her term. And uh, that same day, this happened. When asked about her retirement by reporters hours later, Feinstein did not seem to be aware that the statement was released. When asked by Ross story about finally retiring, Feinstein said, quote, Oh no, I'm not announcing anything. Adding that she will one day. Hours after <laughs> she announced retirement, or I should say her staff announced it, but of course she was aware that she was announcing her retirement. I'm sure they told her. Hours later, she forgot that it was announced. Come on. Mm -hmm. It is, I want to say unbelievable, but at this point, it's, uh, it's not hard to believe what some people will do for power. Last thing here, this is just an Onion headline that I thought was humorous. Senator Feinstein, quote, let me retire. I don't know, man. Like, literally when I got bit by that dog, there were days in a row that I was completely out of it. 
I bet that there have been times in your life where you've experienced injuries or something in which um, you were disoriented as a result of it. I can't, I am not a doctor. I can't tell you what's going on with Feinstein, but she was just going through shingles, which is apparently very painful, right? Um, it's basically like adult uh, chicken pox, I guess. I, I'm assuming that's what it is. One of my colleagues at work had it once, and he was telling me that it was really, really painful. Um, last year, when I was first bitten by the dog, and then I had modified duties that were exacerbating my situation, um, there were days w when I didn't know what the date was. I was confused about what day of the week it was, and I just couldn't get my shit together at all. Because I was in so much pain that I couldn't figure it out. So I think it's really irresponsible as you, as you try and present yourself as a journalist to um, do Rokama spitting. Because that's clearly what you're doing right now. On my own terms with everyone effing hating me as I hold that democracy hostage. So part of the issue right now, because you know, you may think... There's a divided Congress. What can even get through here? Mm -hmm. Why does it matter if Feinstein's there or not? Um, just in terms of votes. But it does in terms of judges. No, it doesn't. So that was the big issue. That's some bullshit, David, because they already replaced her on that committee. So no, it doesn't. They already made the decision to replace her a few weeks ago. So why do you keep pulling that bullshit up? She's not on that committee anymore. Fuck off. Oh, my God. When Feinstein was gone for months, is they were not able to get judges through because she was gone. They need her vote. Oh. Mm, mm, so. Right. Mm -hmm. But even apart, even apart from any procedural reasons or any, any political or, or policy reasons, forcing someone to be in this position where you are representing or representing, <laughs> representing, representing. <laughs> tens of millions of people in the state of California when you clearly are not in the right headspace. Don't fucking speak for us, David. Do not fucking speak for us. You don't know what's in our heads. Okay? I'm a, I'm an organizer in the ground on the ground here in California and I've been doing it for years. Do not fucking speak for us. Okay? You don't know what's going through our heads. Don't. To do so? Like this is not some executive position that mm -hmm. you know even then, shouldn't be in that position if you're in a state like this. But this is a position where you are a public servant. You're a public servant, and you clearly are not able to properly... Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Because you motherfuckers who run your goddamn live streams on YouTube have no idea what's happening in California. You do not know what we want. And what we want is a fair goddamn election between the three candidates who have declared and are running. We do not want an appointment. So, yes, we want Feinstein to claw her way to the fucking end so that we can get our fair election. Please stop trying to interject. Please stop to trying to do Ro Khanna's bidding. We don't give a shit what he thinks. He is not popular in California. Oh my God, please stop stepping into our business.